Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another vlog. Today's gonna to be crazy busy and flat out and I can't wait to get stuck into the 33.4. But first, I wanna say I hope you guys are feeling awesome. I hope you're having a great time, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, while you're watching this vlog. Um, things that we're doing on the 33.4, in previous vlogs I kind of talked about it, but uh, let's go through the list. We're going to do the front mount Grady intercooler kit, we're going to replace all the gaskets and seals for the cam covers, as well as paint the rocker covers at the same time. We're going to pull down the whole front of the engine, pull the radiator out, do a coolant flush, as well as check the tension on the timing belt, because um, it's still kind of howling a little bit. Then once I've put all of that back together and checked all of that, we're then going to go to the rear of the car, and we're going to um, kind of chafer off the edges of the brake pads to stop them from squealing, because I have a, like a high kind of racing type of high performance um, pad so it kind of squeals a little bit and then uh, yeah just general checks all over the car pack the car get it ready for tomorrow drifting with Okachan again at Nico circuit so that's enough talking um, let's get started So I got the car jacked up and I got all my tools ready to go. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is pretty much just pull apart everything in the front here and get everything off that I need to get off, then do everything, put it all back together, move to the rear of the car. So I'll set you guys up on a time lapse and uh, let's get started. Okay, so I've taken everything off the top of the engine that's preventing me from getting the cam covers out. The last thing that are left to do is take off the valley or the coil pack cover so I can get to the bolts on the inside. And there's bolts that go along the outside and the inside. Once you get those O's, they'll lift out. Now, what I wanted to show you guys is this is exactly what I was talking about where the seals start to leak and the oil starts weeping out of the side of the head here and then just starts dripping down your block. And it's just, yeah, it's nasty. If you've ever owned an RV, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm gonna um, get all of that, the rest of the stuff that I need to do, take it off, get the covers off, clean them, paint them. I'm gonna be painting them a nice red, kind of like the same color of the car, um, and then clear coating them. So I'll put those in the sun while they're drying and then I'll pull down the whole front of the engine and do everything else. Okay, so I've completely pulled off the cam covers and I am really happy with the condition of what it looks like in here. Um, normally when you pull these off, you can get a good idea of how well the motor was looked after and you can see that everything's nice and clean. There's no like burnt oil discoloration. You can just see like normal kind of goldy um, staining from the oil itself. So overall, looks really nice and clean. Um, now, I am going to take this off to make my life a little bit easier because I will need to remove some of the old RTV around here and up in the back there as well, which means I need a razor blade. Um, but um, yeah, it's really straightforward and basic. Got the cam cover sitting down here. The seals were all old and brittle, which I'm just going to toss into the rubbish bag there. But um, yeah, I'm going to go and clean these up once I um, get some rags to cover up the top of this so that nothing's going to blow in there. And then um, we'll paint them and then come back and finish the job up. So I've managed to uh, pretty much take everything off and put everything back on and retention the timing belt. So that's all good now. Um, and I'm still waiting for paint to dry. I went and did another coat. 
So what I'm going to do is take the whole front bar off and start working on getting the uh, front mount intercooler all mounted in. And then uh, one more coat of paint, clear coat, and then should be good to put the cam covers and everything back on. All right, so I've made a pretty large mess here. Um, and I've got a little bit of bad news. I've just come to the conclusion that I can't install this front mount intercooler today. I don't have an angle grinder and I need an angle grinder to cut a few like um, just edges and stuff like that off uh, here where the Rio bar goes in. And yeah, it looks like because I'm running the R34 radiator support that the main bolt point here for the top um, is a little bit lower than the 33. So I'm gonna have to drill and move that up. Um, but yeah, I guess overall it kind of sucks because I was super excited to get this in for the drift event and, and see what the difference was like. But, um, you know, these things happen, especially with cars. So I'm just going to put this in the box, put it inside and then try to finish everything else up. We'll go with the side mount for now and just keep using that as we have been. Um, and everything should be good. Uh, my priority right now is to just get everything back together so that um, the car's running and I can pack everything, get a good night's sleep and leave at four o'clock in the morning. So. Yes, um, definitely cutting it fine, but it's okay. Um, I got the mo majority of everything done. Um, I'm just really bummed about the front mount, but I'm sure I'll get onto it in the next week or so. I need to go out and buy an inter uh, not an intercooler. I need to go out and buy an angle grinder. I was actually kind of surprised I haven't bought one yet, but anyways, um, so that's what's happening. I'm just waiting for another coat of paint to dry on the rocker covers. They haven't turned out that great, but once again, my priority is to just get the car running for tomorrow. I think I bit off a little bit more than I could chew for today, especially one day before a drift event. So lesson learnt, and uh, I'm just gonna try and piece this all back together now. So I've pretty much gotten everything back together now and I'm about to go over everything to make sure and double check that I haven't forgotten anything. Um, otherwise, the only other thing I need to put in is my strut brace which goes across. Other than that, um, I think that's about it. Just gonna start her up, take it for a test drive, make sure everything's all good, then fill up the back seat with tires. I do need to do a couple errands with May tonight as well. It's about 7 p.m. so we're gonna head out at about nine. Um, but yeah, it's it's gonna be a bit tight, but I'll be able to get home, get a nice sleep, and make it to the drift event tomorrow, providing everything from here goes well. All right, so I got the car running. Um, everything seems good. Gonna take it for a quick test drive now, and at the same time, I'm gonna stop into UniD, and uh, I need to top up my power steering fluid because there was a little leak there from a loose hose clamp. Fix that, so I'll top that up. Um, and then just another bottle of coolant to fill my overflow. And uh, that's pretty much it, so let's go. Alrighty, here we go. One extra bottle of coolant. 
and a little can of power steering fluid. All right, good to go. Car feels really good. No boost leaks or anything like that, which is great. All right guys, so time warping ahead here and it is 11 p.m. I've just jumped out of the shower. I'm about to go to bed. It's 11 p.m. and I've got like five hours of sleep before I gotta wake up and head to Nico. Now, let's go over everything that happened today. So, started off the day, did a whole bunch of Ataka Garage work, then started working on the car, set myself massive high expectations to try and get all this stuff done that in my head I was like, oh yeah, it should only take me a few hours here and there. Then obviously, you know, like, it dragged out a lot longer than that. And um, then I found out I couldn't actually, you know, uh, install the intake, uh, sorry, not the intake manifold, the um, uh, intercooler. I'm sorry, I'm really struggling, I'm tired. Um, so yeah, couldn't install the Grady intercooler because I need an angle grinder and need to be able to do a few things to be able to make that fit, which sucks, but you know, li that's life and that's cars. Um, and then obviously the paint on the uh, cam covers, didn't like it at all. It looks terrible up close, but you know what, I need to stop being such a perfectionist because at the end of the day, the car's running. I just finished driving it for about an hour and a half with May. It's flawlessly working, no problems. Um, and I get to go drifting still tomorrow. So at the end of the day, even though I was upset before, right now I'm super happy because I still get to go drifting tomorrow. Anyways guys, I don't even know what I'm saying. I think I'm rambling on, I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed, but thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog at Nico Circuit Drifting. Man, I cannot wait to learn more and get better. Oh, so excited. Anyways, guys, ciao matane.